is a shot of what the final battery setup will look like. So I have my two 6S here and my 2S, that's the black pack. And that's going to comprise the 14S system. Fits really nice inside the battery strap. So I'm very happy with that. And this arrangement allows me to get CG. Okay, so on the front here is my 4S uh, 3000 battery pack. And that's what I'm going to use to power up the back. That's going to be divided down to 7.4 volts and 6 volts. So 4S gives me a lot of headroom before I can get down to 7.4 volts. So I'll have a lot of room to operate all the circuits and all the servers and whatnot, no problem. I think I will do a thrust test and put the numbers out. I'm expecting a good amount of thrust to come from the 14S setup in this jet. And I'll keep you guys posted. Hello guys, so what I like to do before I fly uh, some of my big jets um, is I like to know how much thrust it's making and that is static thrust um, because static thrust along with efflux tell you a lot about how the plane is going to perform and so how I do that in my case is um, I have the gear deployed and what I'm gonna do is secure some wire to the landing gear so that's a pretty strong point the gear in this plane is pretty strong so when I secure it like that, I'm going to then attach a ratchet strap, just like that. So you have uh, attachment to the plane, ratchet strap, and pretty uh, inflexible, something that does not stretch, obviously. Go into a scale, and then from the scale, I'm gonna connect it to a hard point. In this case, just a table, which is fairly heavy and can support the, the thrust. Yeah, so my suspicion is that this cheetah hole and the intakes will probably not be sufficient for the jet fan 110 so i will see how that turns out but i think what's gonna wind up happening is i'm gonna have to open this cheetah hole quite a bit to get the thrust that i want there the jet weighs about 6.3 kilos with the 14s set up in place so if i can get uh six kilos out of this that will be fantastic that'll be one to one um but i expect that the 14s setup in this should give close to seven possibly eight kilos so that i am way over one to one um on this we're starting with a battery fully charged kind of almost at 59.2 volts 14s let's see what thrust we get So that was with the uh, hatch closed. I'm going to open the hatch. And what I'm trying to understand here is if I have enough air intake for the jet fan. So we'll see how much thrust we get with uh, the, the vent open. With Sorry, the hatch open. Alright, let's go. So that was almost seven kilograms of thrust and not on a full battery. So I think it suffices to say. Flight pack, 56.5 volts. So I think it suffices to say that the fan swept area in terms of intake, there's a good chance that that is not enough on this jet. I have had the hatch open and that gives me about 7 kilos of thrust out the back measured with my technique so that's probably a little bit off but that doesn't uh, worry me too much. Um, and with the hatch on, with the hatch closed, we measured only about 5.3 or 5.4 kilos. So clearly there's a difference of about 1.6 kilos um, and that's a big amount of thrust that's getting made in the plane with the hatch open. So what I suspect is happening is that the intakes on this jet, uh, which are basically just the front, um, right, those guys, plus the cheetah here, they're not enough for an EDF. Um, that's just my opinion. So what I'll be doing 
is trying to open up the, the bottom. So right around here, try to open this up into a much, much larger area and see what the results are in, in terms of thrust. Um, and I know thrust is not everything, static thrust is not everything, there's efflux and all of that to consider, um, but it's not a bad starting point to get the plane to give you the right amount of static thrust. So I'm expecting on 14S that this motor should, according to the Jetfan website, uh, push about nine kilos out but that's in an open setting. Once it's in the plane, because of restricted intake and outtake, I'm expecting about eight kilos, maybe seven and a half, uh, if I'm lucky. So we'll see how that shakes out. The thing that I like to do with uh, jets that have this amount of power is uh, get myself a thermal um, device. I have a flare right here and I'm gonna run the motor and just basically use this to look over all of the connections. Usually if there's a bad connection that will heat up really fast and you can see that so right away. Remember we're just looking for hot spots. Um, we want to make sure that all of our soldering is correctly done and that way we can fix uh, at least a lot of power issues before we leave the ground. So. Let's do it for the battery and let's see how hot this gets. Let's see, that wire is getting a little toasty, and that's uh, right Light here. So I might need to take a look at the soldering there, um, because that's almost at 40 degrees C. And nothing else to So I'm fairly happy with that. Seems like a lot of my connections are going to be below 40 degrees C after running this for a while, so that's good. Uh, I'm probably going to redo this solder connection right here um, because it felt as though that's hot. It might just be because I'm using XT60 and um, that might not be sufficient for however much current the, the system is pulling, which actually I should check right now, so stand by. So to check current, I have my trusty uh, fluke meter. Um, and this guy can be set to DC, you can do up to 400 amps. So I'm gonna do DC. I'm gonna reset that to zero. And we're just going to clamp it around. Uh, one of the lines that's going into, into, the, into the ESC. So let's see how much current we actually pull at full throttle. We are starting off at 54.4 volts. Uh, I don't know if this will focus on it. There you go, 54.4 volts. So we're about 4 volts away from depletion, so let's see how much current we pull in 14S. So it looks like about 130 amps, so that's not bad. It's probably going to be a little bit higher when the battery is fully charged. Um, I will definitely repeat this test and we'll see. So 160 amp ESC in there looks like it's going to be perfect for this. So what I have to figure out is just the uh, cheater hole situation because I am not convinced that this uh, air intake is sufficient. That's it for today. All right, fellas. I'll bring back more content as I figure out what I'm doing with the jet. Flight pack.